Hello, this is week after Easter. I hope you had a good Easter here in Canada United Church. It was a wonderful time. Uh, we got a great Holy Week, uh, great services, with also with our, our sister church at Lincoln United. If you were with your loved one, I hope you had a very good time also. And some people think that the busiest time of the year for a minister is the time of Christmas. And I guess it's, it's, it's totally understandable because there's a great hype around, um, around Christmas because everybody's seeing carol it's the christmas parties and all those things and and it's everywhere on tv and in the stores but most honestly the busiest time for a minister to my point of view is that and i ask many of my colleagues and they agree it's the time of easter because there's a lot of service to prepare and and also, um, people are not necessarily in this in this mood. Uh, the rest of the people are not in this mood. There's not a big uh, celebration, a big build up. Uh, you know, go into stores and they sing uh, Easter hymns or Lenten hymns. So also, you have to get try to get people in this mood. And the week after is somehow a week of uh, where. The stress drop, uh, I would say a few nudge, but many, many nudge, <laughs> and and it's time to take a deep breath and say, ah, we're done, we're done. At the same time, we cannot say we're done as a minister, as 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 minister. Sorry, in the phone ring, as minister, as Christian because that's just the beginning of the the work of easter it's like i guess like the disciples you know they 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 received the good news of easter they 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 have the proclamation of easter and they even see the risen christ and they could have said okay it's done christ is risen see you <laughs> no now it's the hard work begins for the, the disciples they have to now share that news and something that they were not necessarily um, thinking they would do because during Jesus life they were followers of a great master now they become messenger they become um, apostles you know the disciple apostles and they, they, they have to share this news to go to people, to go to strangers or friends and say, you know, I have a great news to tell you. And that's the huge challenge. For, for us minister, I would say that we cannot relax. <laughs> The, 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 the big step continue, the, the, not the big step, but the, the job continue. We need to continue to proclaim the good news. And for the rest of Christian, it's the same thing. We have to keep getting this news across, this news that is less uh, present, less popular in our wide culture than Christmas, but still it's at the center of our faith. Uh, without, without Easter morning, I don't think it would be Christianity. For sure not as we know it, because that's the main point, that death have been defeated, that the message of Jesus has been vindicated by God. So I hope that you will, as spring come finally, and in the next few weeks, that I hope you and me, we will continue to to get this good news across, to live this faith, not just by yourself, but in the rest with the rest of the world, and we will continue to proclaim to live and 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 to behave as people of the resurrection. Have a great week. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.